How beautiful is that? Hey guys, welcome to Chase Out to the Right Price. It's Wednesday. It is Wednesday, my dudes. And I'm going to an estate sale. Um, I'm not getting there too early. I'm not really expecting anything. But I was just looking at the pictures, and they do have some really nice stuff, including some Box 1064 games, um, Sega Dreamcast, PlayStation 2. So the stuff is there, but the thing is, it's a professional estate sale company, it's the first day, usually the prices are high, and usually there's a ton of competition that gets there super early, hours before the sale even even begins. I'm just going to kind of show up and see what may or may not be there. I'm not trying to put too much like stock in it because I can hit garage sales and go to tons of them and get good stuff. But I got a shipment, and I'm going to drop that off Amazon FBA, and pack stuff up in big boxes like this, drop them off to UPS, really cheap shipping rates. So let's do it. Let's go! I went to that sale. I was number 33. There was 32 people in front of me. Some that are most definitely resellers. And none of them wanted the games. I I don't get it. I am shocked, but I'm stoked. I mean, okay, let's be clear. The best part about the sale, there's no games. But we've got some glorious boxes. The reason I think that this sale didn't get the competition, first off, it's on a Wednesday. Second off, it is 30 minutes away from anything. And third, Nintendo was not in the description. All the resellers around here, I think, have alerts for the word Nintendo. These weren't in the description or in a good picture. They were in the corner of a blurry picture, and I could only tell because I know this beautiful N64 logo. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. Five dollars for all. I mean, are you kidding me? Five dollars for all of these. Oh. They're boxes only. I don't know if any of them have manuals or any of that kind of thing. I haven't looked at them at all. All I knew was, holy crap, these are still here. <laughs> Everybody else was going for like these um, vintage like Tonka trucks and... It's like, yeah, I'd buy those if they were cheap, but the estate sale knew what they were and wanted a lot for them. They didn't really know that N64 boxes are awesome to have. So I'm just going to go through them. Most of them are in great condition. Some of them have a little bit of wear. Star Wars Episode One Racer. It really does feel like box only. There's, there's no manual. It does have some of the paper inserts, though, so some of them might have manuals. We'll see. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. 1080 snowboarding. That one feels like it's got the Manny. I won't, I'll, I'll only check the ones that are really nice. All-Star Baseball 2001. So, most of these are going to go in my collection. Like, this is an amazing score. Most of them are going to be condition upgrades if I already have them, and a lot of them I don't have. Like this one, San Francisco Rush 2049. Look at that. Crispy. Absolutely insane. NBA courtside. We got the Wiley Country Club Golf. I feel like I maybe got that cartridge recently. So hopefully I can pair it. Ooh. Okay, let's see here. 
NFL Blitz. Let's go. Just recently got Blitz 2001. And I'm loving what I'm seeing here. A Mario Party manual. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater manual. And would you look at this. Mario Party box. Let's go. $5 for this entire box of boxes. Diddy Kong Racing. Super Smash Bros. Let's go! I just, I couldn't, I'm still in shock. Like, why would anybody in their right mind leave this stuff? I don't know, but you guys know the main thing I'm collecting right now is boxed games, so Mario Tennis. That one feels like it's got the manual in there. And we've got two more left in this box. Try not to have them fall. We've got Golden Eye and Rush 2. So incredible. <laughs> Five dollars for that entire box, and I'll show you guys the other things I got here in a second. All right, and the games that were actually in there that I picked up were Simpsons Hit and Run, complete for five, Sega Smash Pack Volume 1, five bucks, and Toy Commander. The Dreamcast they had in there and the was uh, $65 with two controllers, so I passed on that. And then the PS2 was $50 with two controllers, also passed on that. Day two for half off, those would be decent deals, but I probably won't come back out here. This is really far away. Uh, but then I got a second box of boxes mostly Sega Genesis for five bucks I'll quickly go through these not nearly as exciting as the N64 but still awesome Jungle Strike Super Monaco Mario Lemieux Hockey Sonic 2 Vector Man World Series Baseball Sonic 3D Blast Toy Story there's even some PS2 SOCOM uh, Taz and then Micro Machines. I can't remember if that one's uncommon or not. It might be. And a couple other PS2, including Jack and Daxter, Need for Speed Most Wanted, and then a Dreamcast Extreme Sports. So $5. Not bad. It's Thursday now, and I'm going to hit some sales and bring you guys with me. So let's do it. I just picked up Financial Peace University for $3 and a box full of CDs for 5 I'd say there's about 50 of them in there, so that sticks to the 10 cents per CD ratio. Alright, just picked this up for one dollar. Pretty good score. And I went to the sale that had G.I. Joe and Star Wars advertised, but it was modern. Like the G.I. Joes were from like 2004, a couple of vehicles. And she said that somebody else came by and picked up everything else, but I would imagine it was all modern, so I don't feel too bad about it. And still got this for a buck. All right, I just asked for games at a sale. <laughs> Went through the list, Nintendo, PlayStation, Sega, DS, Wii, and they are like, no, no, we don't have any of that. And they were like, wait, you want DS and Wii? I was like, yep, and that's why you go through the list. Um, she couldn't find everything. She knows she has a system and a bunch more games for the DS. And then they grabbed the Wii games they were willing to get rid of. So I, p I paid up for them because I wanted them to be motivated to find the other stuff. So here's the stack of Wii games, Need for Speed on top, a couple Need for Speeds, uh, nothing nothing really good, and then two DS games, including Mario and Luigi, that is Bowser's Inside Story and Barnyard. So 10 bucks, the Mario and Luigi is what uh, made me willing to pay it, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9 games, basically a buck a piece. Not too shabby. Just picked up this cranium for one dollar, sealed, and this Wii bundle. I asked for games, and they bought brought that out. I'll show you guys in greater detail when I get home. Paid forty bucks for it. So here's that Wii bundle all spread out. It's definitely a nice, classic Wii bundle. So you got a stack of games here in the back, including Just Dance 3, Hello Kitty Seasons, Harry Potter, Sega Bass Fishing, Lego Star Wars, Lego Batman. Couple uh, hunting and fishing games, New Super Mario Bros, Wii Sports, and Mario Kart with the wheel. And it's the red Wii, which is nice. Got all the lids. Three Motion Plus controllers and the cords. So that is a good Wii bundle for 40 bucks. 
I just picked up, these are Bose Quiet Comfort 15 headphones. And I had them marked at 20, offered 10, and we settled at 15. They should be worth about 50 bucks. Pretty good little score. Did a pretty awesome sale. Got all these 1970s tanks. There's Matchbox. There's Tinker Toys. There's all sorts of stuff. Um, 17 bucks for all those. Paid five for this, six for this Polaroid, two per game here, and then six for this Sony radio in the box. So a pretty cool little sale. All right, I had lunch, and then hit another sale and. Picked up this JVC camcorder in beautiful condition. There's the model number for those that are wondering. And it also comes with the JVC C-P7U, which alone is worth pretty decent money. Got the charger, the manual, the case, everything. Three bucks. Then got this micro cassette recorder with three Sony tapes. Looks like maybe two for one dollar the entire Bible on 79 CDs basically brand new for five bucks and then this stack of records minty fresh records three dollars and fifty cents and that's what intrigued me is the monkeys right on top because I know I've sold some of their CDs individually for decent money so we'll see how it goes